My name is Philomona Williamson and I'm a painter and I'm originally from New York but now I live in Montclair and my studio is in the manufacturer's village in East Orange, New Jersey. I've loved oil painting from the day I started. I absolutely think it's the most magical thing in the world. I love coming to my studio and looking at the colors that I'm mixing and you know, all of that. It's just what I enjoy doing. I think I was in middle school. I was fortunate enough to be in a program that was specializing in art, music, and science. My art teacher was a professional artist and she presented the art program as a discipline. We have many decisions that we have to make when we're making a painting and it was just so fascinating to me. It really, I just, I loved it. How images can tell stories and how colors mix and you know all of that was just sort of fascinating and it was also a place where I had control as opposed to the rest of your life that's going on as an adolescent. You can't control it, things are just happening. So that was when I really focused in on making art and I continued to do it. There were many things going on in my family life. My father had just been diagnosed with cancer and my mother said, no one should know. So this was a giant secret I had to keep as a 13 year old. But the art room was the one place where I had control. My parents were domestics. We lived in the household of a very wealthy Greek family. My father was the chauffeur and cook, and my mother was the housekeeper. After that, we lived in Harlem, really, 110th Street, right off the park. So I would go between these two different worlds all the time. The idea of home was really where my family was, where I was. Home was about the people who were around you and the kind of support and the safety that you felt, the ability to be who you are and to not be judged. So that's what home was. My studio is a place that I have made my home and the place where I can come in and, and take risks and feel safe and take risks and then feel safe and then, you know, go back and forth. So this is, this is my home. You know, this is really my home. All of the paintings that I've been creating the past 20, eight, 29 years have been about adolescence. They have things to do with my family, relationships that I have. I think that the more personal the painting is, the more universal. I was really nervous about telling my specific background, letting people see what I was about, you know? And so I said, okay, let's just go for it. So I did a bunch of work that were about my childhood. The painting Gathering, which is over here, the figure sitting with all of the different dolls. And the dolls represent not only my family, because there's a Greek doll and the maid doll, so it's sort of my, my past, but there is also a little puppet, which is a Mexican doll. And then I have the other doll. I was thinking about all of the different people who have come to this country, and is there a lap that you can sit in and be welcome in? It's personal, but then it's also universal. It was scary because I was not only revealing myself in the paintings, but also a larger audience, a larger platform for people to see the work. You know, taking a risk is scary, but you have to do it sometimes. Having the confidence has been something that I try to do all the time, and I tell my students, you've got to risk. You know, in the studio, take a risk with your painting, in your life, and it pays off in some way or another.